And the one thing you need to look out for is that Miguel Cotto is excellent at cutting the ring. One of the best, even though he is still so young. And that is something that he will have to do. Oh, oh he's got right away with a left hand. And Cotto is just staying right on top of him, attacking the body and up high. Corley throwing back with the left and the right, but Cotto answers. That was a slip. That was a slip and a push. And the crowd is all into this and into Cotto. Cotto gets him into the corner. Corley's in problems. Cotto attacking the body. Corley looking for salvation, looking for answers. Everywhere DeMarcus Corley moves, Miguel Cotto is a step behind. He is on top of him, hunting him. Nice right hand by DeMarcus Corley does not affect Miguel Cotto. That's what they say about Trinidad. Well, it's easy to stand in front of a, the, the opposition when he's throwing bombs back in effect. Him. And you got the power, you can do that. You can overpower him, and there goes the jab now. A brilliant first round for Miguel Cotto. The action continues after the round. Cotto steps in and throws another punch. Upset at the fact that the action continues. Right hand that affects Corley. Fires a combination. And Corley fighting for survival in the corner. Once again, the power. 40 seconds left in round number two here in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Corny's corner is screaming out of that. Cotto's hurt. I don't know which fight they're, they're watching. Cotto gets hit by a left. body punch and he backs him into the ropes and goes to work Corley throws one right to the body a big right oh my god Cotto's in problems Corley lands a punch that staggers Miguel Cotto and he's starting to celebrate background stunt here's the punch right there right hand right overhead Affected his equilibrium and Corley reacting to it and putting the punches together. He's stunned. Miguel is stunned. Oh, it's completely out on his feet. He is standing up, but you wonder how. He got caught. He got completely caught, and Corley is launching on him. We have never Plenty seen Miguel Cotto for like Corley. this before. One minute and 50 seconds left in this round. The crowd is stunned. People are just shaking their heads. And Miguel Cotto has been exposed here in Puerto Rico. The champion is against the ropes. Oh, Cody, you better watch out. His has dents. Sport, for the moment, looking as if it's something you need to sell. Right hand by Corley. Body shot by Corley. Another body shot. And Miguel Cotto has no answers. A career so bright, possibly being turned out here in Puerto Rico. Back comes Cotto. The legs seem to be rejuvenated with energy. This is what makes the mark of a champion. One that gets put into a hole and digs himself out. And Cotto survives what could have been a disastrous round, but he gets nailed at the end with a right. He's just coming straight at him. And Corley gets tagged. And the fans rise to their feet, hoping that the young champ can get himself out of trouble tonight. I still think Miguel needs another round. Well, maybe at the same time, he realized that he had the offensive working for him, and he didn't want to let Corley get a breather, considering 
it'd be the best for Corley right now, considering he was getting the best of him. Here comes Cotto again. But Corley steps away. Now he's getting in rhythm. And now Cord is really hurt. And he's going down. He goes down. They're giving him a count, but it was a low blow, it appeared, that set that up. Corley argued it for a second. Gets up. And stops it. Here's the first knockdown here of the fifth round. It appears to be a low blow that sets it up. We saw the truck right on the waistline. And a third one. And it's over. It's ended just like that. Miguel Cotto comes back from the brink of being defeated. Look at it again. You be the judge. This is the second knockdown. That's down. the knee that's down. This is the knee. He takes a knee on purpose, and Falou waves him off. Says, that's it. 